Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. As you all can see, we are moving. We are getting ready, actually, to go ahead and harvest these kashar squash, guys. Okay, so that is what we are getting ready to do. And so we want to take you all along with us on this journey. I'm um, getting ready to harvest. Um, I haven't been over here in a couple of days, so I don't know what they are looking like. So come on along and let's go. And so we are here at the gate, guys. I'm um, getting ready to pull in, and we're going to actually drive on back there um, just so we can load them up real easy on the back of the truck. Go ahead, son, open up the gate. Come on now, you're acting like you don't know what you need to do, young man. <laughs> you know, pull up and he just is sitting there. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get inside of this gate, guys, um, and drive on down this uh, little road here and go ahead and harvest these Kushar squash. are here at our location guys and so now come on along and let's go for this ride here we're going to go ahead now and start harvesting these kushar squash like i said i don't know what they're looking like i know someone dropped um a comment down in the box guys about pigs eating our kushar squash and mm. we're praying that is not the case here today because All right. it's a lot of wild boar over yes there. it is it is a few wild hog but you know what um I, I know the angels are on the four corners of this property and the most i will not let it be so so i'm i'm i'm, I'm moving on faith guys and we're going to go ahead and harvest so come on along and let's go Let's get to harvesting these kushar squash. Come on. Okay, guys. And so, yes, we are here now getting ready to harvest these kushar squash. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I got my boys, my boy here with me, and also um, my daughters, the young ladies. And we're going to be harvesting some kushar squash. Now, one of the things that I have come to learn, guys, um, if you know um, watermelon that have that tender roll on them, we have noticed it. No, noticed that when we had came on out here the other day to harvest these kushar squash and noticed that they have tender rolls on them as well. Now, that tender roll is also an indicator to let you know that these kushar squash is ready to be harvested. And even if you all can see the other day when we came on over here and did the video, um, a lot of we did have quite a bit more foliage. OK, now a lot, a lot of that foliage have died back. And so we're going to just go ahead and get to harvesting. And so what I'm going to do here, guys, when I harvest these kushar squash, I'm going to leave a bit of stem on the top of these squash right here. Okay, and so son, what you're gonna do once I harvest these squash, come on in, man. Once I harvest these squash, you're going to go ahead and sit them on the back of the truck. Try not to beat them up, all right? Okay, guys, so here we go. Um, right now, I'm, I'm not caring much about the stems, so I'm just cutting, leaving a little bit of stem, like I said, okay? And so, And we'll go another one. So our goal today is to harvest all. So all we're going to take all these squash on out of here. Um, and so that is what I was telling you all about with that tendril. So that let me know because these vines are still alive. And this one is not dried up just as yet. So this let me know that, hey, 
this one could go a little bit longer um you know but hey we're going to take it home and let it finish um fitting or getting ripe at home okay in storage all right <laughs> yeah they yeah almost they, they are hidden just about everywhere okay so that demonstration there look at that tender roll it is dried all the way up okay and yes i did ate some of this kushar squash right here the other day guys and it is delicious okay i like it it is not quite like pumpkin it's a little bit softer um you know real nice and mild have a little sweetness to it and hey that's delicious all right That's a pretty nice size one right there. Um, real nice one. And that is pretty heavy as well. Uh, what I noticed with this one, as y'all can see, have a real nice uh, fat neck on it. Mm -hmm. That is another nice one there. All right, guys, so real quick, what I've noticed here, and this what I was afraid of, okay? Um, that other squash that we picked the other day, we have noted, well, it had a real big split on it. Now, what that is coming from is all that rain that we have been getting, okay? Um, usually pumpkins, um, from experience, don't really like a whole lot of water. Um, it will get soft inside. I have never seen a pumpkin split like this Kushar squash, but guys, we will take this home. And what the other one we harvested, it pretty much healed itself. So um, we'll put that on up and see if it will go ahead and heal itself so we can put it away um, for storage. Now we won't let this one store for too long. Simple reason why it have, um, yes, it's been, the, 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 the layer have been compromised. And so we'll put that on um, to be harvested first. All right? Well, get out the sun, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to catch you, but I'm not. Come on around. Go on around. All right, guys. Let me, let me read Here you go. Okay, and here is another one that have been compromised. Now look at all this water. Like I tell you that these, they have been drinking a lot of water, guys. And that is what's causing that split, okay? Mm -hmm. Now it's a whole lot more water came out of here. As long as it sealed itself yes, up. yes, absolutely. And so that's, that's why I said, you know what? We may just even be able to store it. Mm -hmm. And if we'll keep our eye on it, mm -hmm. and if this one right here is starting to spoil, then we'll, you know, go ahead and put it and get it cooked up. Yeah. All right. Catch. Ooh, catch. you a pumpkin catcher. Or uh, Kashar uh, catcher. Yeah. Ooh. All right, guys. Here is a small one. Um, no Kashar get left behind. We're going to take them all. We're going to take the big... The small and the in-between guys. Okay. All right. There go another couple of ones. Now this is, that's still meal right here. Um, just one of these right here will be able to uh, make a meal for the night um, to feed the family. Okay. All right. You can come on around. Okay. 
Okay, guys, and so that is another nice size Kushar right there. I'm not going to throw this one. Um, it is a bit heavy. Now, I think the first one, the first, but this is pretty heavy too now. It's pretty heavy, and look at that. Ooh, look at that. Uh, drop the squash. And look at that real nice red dirt right here, guys. And it is very moist. Like I said, we have been getting a lot of rain. But, um, hey, we're going to get them before we get into more rain because, yes, we will be getting more rain. All right, there you go. Yeah, they split. So we're gonna make sure we get them, like I said, cooked up. All right. That's another nice one right there. Well, we, we could go on the outskirt or I could harvest what we have in the middle. And also, yeah, so we're going, we're coming back there. And also, a thing with these vines, guys, you could come on in, come on in. Just stay, it don't matter where you step these vines, they are done. But, um, like I said, if you notice, these um, roots, look at that, real nice and moist, you know. Um, <laughs> And that's why these squash have been splitting. I just want to kind of pull it up just a little bit to see what these roots have been doing. Of course, you know, they're going to tear on me a little bit. But what I'm noticing, this root is running like crazy. And, of course, it broke. Okay? And it's, it's steady. Keep going, guys. It just broke there again. And, well, look at that. Um, real nice, healthy root system, um, you know, and that is a good thing for these squash right here. And that's why you see they steady, keep on feeding. And we're going to examine this root right here a little bit, guys. Like I said, vine borers don't really mess with these roots at all. Um, I don't think I've lost any vine that I planted. All right. So. Let's get back on in here and get to harvesting mm -hmm. some more kushar squash because I want you all to see the harvest that I got out of these few plants that I've planted. Mm -hmm. So come on and let's go. All right. Yep. Yeah. Which way? Oh, there's more over there? Okay. And that's it there, guys. We got a couple of babies. All right. Yeah, we're going to take them. We're not, we're not going to leave. We're not going to leave anything. Um, like I say, and plus we're going to show you all the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the in-between of what we are harvesting here as well okay and sometimes you gotta check up inside of these bush and we're oh look at that see it's a baby but it's still food it's yeah it's still food um for somebody that don't have um much to eat in a survival situation this right here okay. will take hunger off the stomach. So a lot of times, you know, we will nitpick at the groceries at the grocery store, but start conditioning yourself to, hey, even misfits like this right here, start conditioning your mind to use some misfits, guys, okay. because that right there 
can save your life. All right, guys, and look at that. This was one that I was getting ready to walk away from. All right, take the flesh off. And real quick, I know we are here for Kushar squash, but right here we have some mullein seeds that are ready. And remember, I did make you all a promise last year because what I'm also trying to do, guys, all the promises that I make, I'm trying to get them out of the way. So stay tuned for how to harvest mullein seeds. All right, come on along. Remember, we are talking a little bit about Kushar and not mullein, okay? All right, son, here you go. Yeah, I I'll definitely do that um, because from what I'm noticing, these plants, they just about camouflage and, and well, of course, camouflage is hidden. They're just about hidden everywhere. Okay. And they are also hidden inside of thorns and everywhere else, guys. So, but... You know, you come on around. I believe we have a little bit more over on this side. I think we got them all from right there. And here we have two little itty bitty babies. Here you go. Oh, it's, oh see? Yeah. Yeah, see, I, th I thought we only had two little little bitty babies, but hey, look at that. <laughs> we would have went home and left a kushar behind, and that we don't want. All right, guys. Um, but so far, huh? You gonna do a final scene? Well, I can. Let me go ahead. Come on, we're gonna do a final run through. Make sure we got everything, young fella. Well, I think that is about it for all the Kushar squash. Now, for the few vines that were planted here in this area right here, guys, now we're going to go ahead and check the bounty of what we have harvested out of this area right here. And just to let you know that, hey, get on out there, put some seeds in the ground, have a little faith you don't know what you will harvest once you plant that seed so come on and let's go okay guys and so here is the bounty of all the kashar squash that we have harvested now one of the thing is we probably would have kind of loved to let them sit on the vine just a little bit more especially the ones them where the tender roll did not dry up all the way but because of all the rain that we have been getting that's a no-no, guys, because one thing is we're not trying to lose our food. Okay, so um, right in here, I'm going to go ahead and stand up. So right in here, as y'all can see, we have some split ones. And here are the big ones here, guys, that we got out of this patch. Okay, now as y'all can see, ooh, we had some huge... Kushar squash. Oh, we. Yeah, they, these these are heavy. We have some huge Kushar squash that came from up out of this field. And guys, we are happy. Okay. We are happy. We are thankful. Um, and of course, we have some medium sized one as well. But we are happy and we are thankful because. I always look at it that I only came on out here and I plant some seeds, okay? Initially, when I started off, I did not plant a, a, a fruit this big. I only planted a seed and look at the blessing. Look at the return that you got by coming outside and working the ground. And so that is what I want you all to go ahead and just put your hand to the dirt, guys. When you plant something, you never know what you're going to reap. At the end of the day so that is why we're here to motivate you all 
to get on outside and get in the dirt. Okay, so nonetheless, uh, we're going to go ahead now and load up and we're going to take it on home. But one of the things is I did want to bring you all in um, on, on harvesting these squash right here, guys. So I just want to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Remember, guys, keep a smile on your face. You be happy, you be cheerful, and you be blessed. Okay? And till the next time, we'll see you all in another video. Have a blessed day. They hold up the squash. <laughs> heavy enough for you. Is it heavy? No, not really. So you just think it's strong, huh? <laughs> oh. Hold up, let me see it's out. Oh wow. Yeah. Here, hold this one. Wow. Hold that one. See what hold see what you do. Yeah, time. come on. You talking about not heavy. Let's see. Alright, don't you drop it now. You got it? <laughs> so it's still not heavy. Look at you. I think you're fronting, man. I think you're fronting. Let me help him out because I think he's going to drop it. Oh, there you go. All right. Nice.